Hello, this is Heer Patel from Grade 6E, Gems to Millennium School. I am presenting my science project based on the global grand challenge of environment. Air is crucial for life on Earth. It provides us with oxygen to breathe, supports plant photosynthesis, regulates climate and protects us from harmful solar radiation. Without air, no living organism would be able to survive and Earth's environment would be inhospitable. Nowadays, air pollution is a major problem. It comes from sources like factories, vehicles and household activities. It contains harmful gases and particles such as soot and carbon monoxide which can contribute to global warming, cause health issues and harm wildlife. Clearly, we need to find a way to stop pollution from going in our atmosphere. To understand why smoke is harmful, research shows that particular matter and small particles can penetrate deep into our lungs and bloodstream, causing asthma, heart diseases and cancer. The World Health Organization reports that air pollution causes more than 7 million premature deaths annually. Additionally, air pollution can also cause environmental problems such as acid rain and climate change. This data emphasizes the need for effective smoke purification methods. My project, the Solar Powered Smoke Purifier, focuses on a method to catch smoke using fabric and wash it using water. The idea is to pass smoke through a fabric conveyor belt which is powered by solar energy. The fabric belt will catch large and small smoke particles and the water filtration tank will be used to wash the smoke from the fabric and collect the carbon. This method is simple, cost-effective and eco-friendly and can be used in various settings such as factories and industrial plants. The solar power smoke purifier can help reduce the amount of harmful gases entering our air. This project is made using this uh, fabric conveyor belt, these motors. This, these motors are powered by a battery and the battery can be charged using this solar panel. I have made the factory and houses using thermocol. There is also an on and off switch to power the project and a water tank over here. Let's see how the simple system actually works. The smoke purifier is powered by solar energy. As you can see here, there is smoke coming out of this factory which enters the system. The smoke first passes through a fabric conveyor belt. The fabric acts as a filter that captures larger particles like soot and dust from the smoke. After the smoke has been partially cleaned by the fabric, it moves to the water filtration plant. Here, the smoke is scrubbed by the water which absorbs and removes many of the remaining pollutants. Carbon and other pollutants are collected in a water tank where they settle out or are separated from the clean water. The clean smoke, now with significantly reduced pollution levels, is ready to go out of the system and safely enter the atmosphere again. We can separate the carbon from the water and the carbon can be used in many ways. For example, Activated carbon, processed into activated carbon for purification and industrial use. Soil enrichment, added to soil as biochar to improve fertility and moisture retention. Energy production, used as a fuel source in an industrial processes. Construction materials, incorporated into materials like concrete or asphalt. Waste management, helps manage and neutralize other waste products. This smoke washing system can be used in various places such as factories to reduce emissions, power plants to clean smoke from burning fuels, refineries to capture pollutants, manufacturing facilities to manage smoke from production, waste management plants to treat smoke from burning waste. It helps control and reduce smoke and emissions in these settings. These uses help recycle carbon and support sustainability. 
while the system is effective, there is always room for improvement. So to further improve this system, we can try experimenting with the type of fabric that is used in the conveyor belt to see what works best to capture smoke. We can also try putting a special coating on top of the fabric to see what if most effectively captures the smoke. We can try experimenting with the speed of the conveyor belt to see what is most effective for the system. We can also try putting sensors to monitor the smoke in real time. In conclusion, this system is eco-friendly, sustainable, uh, cost-effective and simple and can be used in various settings to reduce the amount of emissions that go into our atmosphere. I hope you like this system. Thank you.